Hey, what's up? What's up? It is Tuesday, August 27th. Um, so yesterday we did the scientist walk. Today we're going to talk about it's all about me. Just remember, hey, a person who never made mistakes, never tried anything new. So try something new. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so we're going to finish this scientist video. Some classes did, other classes did not. So let's hear from the actual scientists themselves. What I want you to write down in your journal. So what I want you to write down in your journal is, what do the scientists do and how do they describe things that make a good scientist? Okay, so that's what I want. What do the actual scientists do and then how do they describe the things that make a good scientist? Let me turn this joker all the way up. Oh, can I not? Okay, or maybe not. Okay, so we're going to skip ahead to this part right there. Things, but I think all scientists are Hold doing on. What they love. There we go. What does a scientist really do? Lots of different scientists do different things, but I think all scientists are doing what they love, and they're all trying to find things out, trying to understand the world. Mostly what we do is solve puzzles. Mm. Problem solving, it's, it's, a, it's a big puzzle. Problem as solving. scientists, we, we look for problems. We look like for problems to, sort of to solve. With problems. Solving climate change, exploring the universe, or as we do here, protecting people from lightning. Mm. Here we specialize in lightning direct effects. He's some sort of the lighting scientist. Lightning with structures, so things like aeroplanes. I am a cell biologist. Write that down, cell biologist. That's a way of saying I really like looking at very small cells, so very small things that make up everything that's living. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I specialize in working with reptiles also, across the world. Scientists that work with reptiles? In Africa and Kenya. Ooh. I'm a digital engineer. Engineer, you can say a lot of the computer side of things. I make sure everything comes together in the right place and try and solve problems along the way. Why do people become scientists? Mm. You don't have to be a scientist to make a difference, but if you're the sort of person who has a scientific mind, who enjoys the scientific process. Mm -hmm. Science is a great way to make the world better. Scientists are needed throughout the world to investigate about a changing climate, about the decline in animal species. All of these subjects are so rewarding, so interesting. It's the creation of something new that sort of brought me in. It's seeing something happen in front of you and seeing things happen. It's a very rewarding experience and you find yourself wanting to know more. So you've caught the science bug. It's the excitement. You think I'm getting close to something and then all of a sudden the problem's solved and this lesson's learned. I always liked science. Even when I was little, I was really curious, but I didn't know that I wanted to become a scientist mm. until, I, until I started working in a hospital laboratory. My specialism is lightning. I've always been fascinated by the natural effects of, uh, of electricity. It's incredibly important to be inquisitive, to question everything, to wonder about everything. What an incredibly boring world if we don't wonder about things. Yes, and it's true. that wonder which drives us forward to get answers to why things are. How do you become a scientist? Ah, that's a good question. I think you have to be really enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. Really just take an interest in the, in the world around you. Yeah. Whether it be from the cameras that are filming us now to the mobile phones that helped us meet up today. What takes your interest? What type of problems do you solve? Uh. Curiosity isn't unique to science, but it's um, uniquely helpful for science. So everything you do in school is, is helpful and important. Try and get as much experience doing your own science as you can. Ask questions. Why? How? What do you want to work around? Pursue the answer. Yeah. If you like lots of different types of science, that's okay. Can anyone be a scientist? Do you know what? If you put your mind to it and it's really what you want to do, mm -hmm. I truly believe you can and you can take it from me, you'll have a wonderful, wonderful career and a really interesting, brilliant life. If you've ever wondered how something works, if you like solving problems, or enjoy the thrill of discovering something new, then you're already on your way to becoming a scientist. Facts. You could be anything. Yeah. You could be an engineer building new bridges, a marine biologist studying sharks, or an astronomer gazing up at the stars. So, what scientist will you be? I like that. All right, now look at these scientists. Tell me if they look like the people that you guys drew.
As you can see, there's a plethora. There's many different types of scientists, and they look very different, and they look like normal folks, right? Like normal people, okay? Um, some of the scientists, these are scientists that were drawn from, I would say, two years ago, so 2022, and they kind of look similar to what you guys have, but you can see kind of these major themes still running through what people are thinking, and then here are some, these are only a few that I kept, but you kind of see some of these major themes as well. Obviously, I kept the ones that kind of look like me. <laughs> anyway, let's let's keep it pushing. Um, so we've talked we've talked a little bit about that and the things that make a good scientist. I also just wanted to say this: there were all kinds of different scientists that you guys saw. Hey, he said I mainly work in Africa. I'm not. I'm probably not in the lab like all the time. So I I, I do work in a lab, but hey, I'm in Kenya. I'm in Africa working right outside another another guy was like hey i work on protecting things from lightning that's a whole different types of science that we haven't probably thought of another person was a digital engineer and then then the, the lady she was a cell biologist this is probably closer to what people um envision a scientist look like who work with test tubes and and different chemicals and things like that but even but Obviously, you see there's different types of sciences and different types of scientists, and they do different types of things, and they're in different places. All right, cool. So let's just ask this question. What is full of holes but can still hold water? Hopefully, this is not too crazy for y'all, so hold on. Right, it's my boy. It's my boy. It's my boy. It's my boy, SpongeBob. Let's go. Um, okay, obviously a sponge is the answer. I don't know what happened there. Everything went to black. Okay, let's just talk about these expectations right quick as we keep going through some of these things we've already talked about. If you don't study, you shall not pass. Now, this is the reality. You're going to have to do some studying. You're going to have to do some work. When it comes to quizzes, make sure you prepare. When it comes to tests, make sure you prepare. When it comes to projects, make sure you're doing the things. Also, studying can look a little bit different. For some people, studying means spending some time at home doing that. So for some people, studying means every day I read through all my notes, right? That's a, By the way, that's a, that's a note tip. Like, that's a study tip. Like if I, you just read through your notes every day, and again, you won't have that many notes. It's only like a page or two. So if you just read through, skimmed through, and read it, then you would remember probably 80% of that long term. So that's just, again, a study tip. Also, that could be a way. It could be I pay attention and take notes in class. Maybe that's my study way because I'm maybe I like I like auditory learning. So just think about that. Like there's different ways to study and be prepared. You just need to make sure that you do your part. Okay. Um, it's cool if you are confused. We did that's what the quote of this week is about. But it's cool if you're confused. It means you're learning. This class is learning. I'm gonna ask you questions that you've never heard of before. I'm gonna ask you to do experiments and things that you've never done before. I'm gonna ask you to try stuff that you haven't even thought about doing before. So because of that, it's gonna be unknown and it's okay to be somewhat confused. Make sure that you continue to learn and I'm gonna be there to help you like uh, scaffold you up and, and get you to where the learning is. Also ask questions. If you're confused, it's totally cool. Ask questions. That's why you have a team. That's also why you have me as your teacher. All right, um, I think we're on to the very last thing. So this is this assignment is called It's About Me, right? And so I'm going to go to Canvas and, and find it out in there. So I'm going to go to Canvas. I'm going to go to Modules. This assignment is called It's All About Me, and we're going to look at the actual assignment right here. Boom. So it's in here. It, oh, right here. It's All About Me. Boom, under Tuesday. Okay, so here's the assignment. Let's just go ahead and open up the template, and then we'll go from there. So all of the instructions are here on the template. Also, all of the instructions are here. So again, click here and make a copy. So you're going to have to say file, make a copy, entire presentation, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Mr. Farr. Okay, so you'll put you'll put your name first and last name. Okay, Mr. Farr, it's all about me. And then I'm gonna change this to 2004. Okay, cool. Because we actually have been making some updates to it, so um, we're not done with the updates. Okay, so cool. I'm gonna show you what to do. So um, background color cannot be black or white. So black or white. So yes, select a different color, your favorite color or your second favorite color as your background color. Font color must be black or white. So your font color's got to be black or white. 
on the top, you're going to have your first and last name, title of the class, and um, what period you are in. Add one picture of yourself and four pictures about things you are interested in. Remember, this must be school appropriate. Add a quote that represents you or a quote that you like. If, if I cannot read your slides, then I cannot grade it. There are some examples of slides down below. So let's look at the examples, okay? Boom. So first of all, I picked my favorite color. That's my background color. Totally cool. Uh, there's my name. There's the science. And then there is what period I'm in. And then I chose as a man thinketh. And here's some pictures. Now, this is the updated version. So I have five pictures. This is how it should look. As you can see, I kind of did it in a collage type way. So family is important, right? And then I just put this because I just like this picture. Dallas Cowboys because they're my favorite. Um, Piccolo because my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. And I changed my quote. So um, I'm going to and I'm going to be doing another new one this year. So uh, I'll show you guys that as you guys are going along. Now, here and so here's my daughter. This is the first one she did. So as you can see, these are the things she's into. So K-pop, you can tell by the way she's dressed there. And then she's into track, right? So again, name, physical science period, and then the quote at the bottom. As you can see, this is an updated one. So Genshin Impact, the game. As you can see, also, there's this anime that she's into, track, basketball. Got a picture with her and her dog. Totally cool. Now, here is another updated one. I think she just updated. So this one is updated as of now. She's in college. So she just updated this last night. You can see she did some, some outlining of the pictures, which actually makes them look really cool. You want to make sure that yours is not boring. Has her quote there at the bottom. Has her name, period, all the things. But then these are her friends. These are some things. You can still see track. It's still important. Basketball is important. Um, she got the anime on there. This is the group that we actually went to go see. Here's a picture when they actually went to go see the group. So it's a whole thing. So this is totally cool. You see she has seven pictures. My minimum is five. If you want to do more, it's totally cool. And I like the outlining of the pictures. I think that's the way I'm going to do mine so that my slide doesn't look boring. Okay, so you've got all of those things. So you got some templates. And then at the very bottom, I have added a template for you. So this is the template for you so this is where you're actually going to build your actual thing so it has all the things lined up first name the science of period and then where you put your quote and then here is where your pictures go all right so a couple questions that people usually ask so i have to put a self yes you have to have at least one selfie or one picture of yourself so if you look this is not a selfie definitely is a picture of her so definitely that's what you need to go for okay and this is due on the 30th and actually there's nothing more um in this slide oh there is one other thing but we're gonna have to do that when we come back i gotta go to a meeting i'll be right back y'all all right well that is all of the instructions that is everything that you need to know for today it is due on friday so like get started get started get started um make sure you get started in the first 60 seconds um work on that right now and then like i said it shouldn't take you super long so you're not gonna have a crazy amount of class time but anyway that is everything that we got for today all right y'all peace